NBA 2K20 tutorial number 36. Today we're going to focus on the Hawks freelance offense and how it is the most versatile freelance in the game. We will study in detail how this freelance can have a 5 out spacing and 4 out spacing whenever you need and it can be triggered whenever you want. So if you like my tutorials and you would like to see more, make sure you click on the link above or below in my description for my all 2K20 tutorials playlist where I guarantee you'll find more videos to help you improve your game. So in terms of the setup, first things first, make sure you go to offensive settings and in your coach settings, uh, make sure adaptive coaching engine is off and the freelance series order is set to dynamic and the freelance series repeat is set to do not repeat. So this is very important, make sure it's set as so. And also on your visual feedback settings, make sure uh, play vision display is on full. Offensive play calling is manual and team communication defense only and the offensive play vision is set to all plays. That's very important. Now, and in your freelance section, make sure you select Hawks 2018, which is the freelance we'll focus on and it is deadly and let me show you why. So if you bring the ball up to the middle in Hawks freelance, you get the center, he's gonna move to the elbow and you're gonna get spread spacing from your wings and your power forward. This means you get 4 out 1 in spacing with dynamic branches where your center is at the elbow. And you can see as I flow through this, here's one of the branches that comes up. I run the pick and roll and here's one dynamic freelance branch in the Hawks freelance in 4 out 1 in where all of the players outside the 3 point line are gonna move as I execute in middle of the floor pick and roll with my center. Now, if the ball is on the wing to start, the spacing changes. So watch, I'm bringing it up with Drexler, but instead of starting with the ball in the middle, I've swung it to Vince on the wing. And as you can see, now the offense is starting with the ball on the wing. The center, Garnett here in this case, will make his way up to the top to create five out spacing when the ball is on the wing. So this is still in half freelance, but with the ball starting on the wing. I swung it to the middle as the dynamic branch told me, and now I'm triggering this five out freelance dynamic branch within the Hawks freelance, right? Five out spacing. Now, how you choose to use the branches is up to you. So I'm letting this five out Hawks branch flow out, and I've decided to end the branch with a wing handoff here from the middle between Garnett and a Christian Lehner. The spacing starts to spread, and I do a Euro step, good finish, two points. Very nicely done there. Now, now that you know in Hawks, if you bring the ball to the wing, so in this case, I have the ball on the wing, that means it's going to be five out spacing. You can see KG's moving to the top. But understand this, in this freelance, the center loves to dive to the paint. Like this is just by nature and you can see I'm trying to run something here but Garnett just goes on its own. I didn't tell him to do that. That's the nature of this freelance. That's something you have to understand in the 5 out space or even if you set up in the middle where you're going to get that 4 out 1 in spacing, the center still loves to dive. You can see Garnett here, he just goes. So this is the perfect freelance for a non-shooting like a non three point shooting athletic center. And so I missed the pass there, that's my fault. But as that happens, I just tell Garnett to come back and I run that middle pick and roll, which is perfect for that four out one in spacing from the middle in the Hawks freelance. And I executed there, two points. Now, so starting the offense and wing on the middle when you're in Hawks, that's up to you because it depends if you want five out from the wing or four out one in from the middle. How you do it, it's up to you. I decided to stay middle here, so then another dynamic branch trigger. This is a middle dynamic branch out of 4 one in freelance. I decided to move KG in there myself to dive in, and I also finished in the paint. This is very good for a center who can pose and hit the mid-range. Now, standing still on the wings or in the middle will trigger different dynamic branches like you've been seeing. So this time, I'm on the wing with Ray Allen here. It has triggered this double screen from the wing where the corner man curls up. I decided to end this branch with an IRC control that I showed you guys in my passing tutorial with the power forward. So in this case, Garnett right now is the power forward. I just IRC him to the free throw circle and I take the shot because the middle in the mid range and the paint area is always open for the center in this freelance. So you can see same dynamic branch here, but different results. This time it's Christian Nader coming up the double screen from the corner. I'm using IRC again to control Nader. I flash him to the middle, nothing there. Mutombo ends up being in the free throw circle. A that's the key here. Lots of chances in this freelance to do high low feed into the paint on cuts because the big man's gonna be around a free throw circle. So if you bring another big man there, you can just flush the opposing big man into the paint and then you can go high low all day on your own, right? 
So the Hawks freelance basing also sets up real fast in transition. So I grabbed the board there and I'm just bringing up the court. I decided to stay on the wing, so now you know it goes into that five of spacing in Hawks Freelance. I follow the dynamic branch, I work the ball around, see what's happening. We get this action between the four and the five. I decided to flush KG back. Right there, as KG comes back, this is another chance to do a high-low pain cut. So I'm just holding triangle, having Garnet dive in, another high-low pain cut works perfectly. Really, really excellent pain attacking offense especially if you got a good center like a duncan or like a shack or even like a kg so wing 5 out obviously the wing 5 out spacing can be great for iso so you can see i'm just executing an iso here behind the back move and that's gonna work so you can also isolate from the wing if you want now but if you do bring the ball to the middle the center is always going to go to the wings empty wings elbow so away from carter because carter is occupying the left wing so kg is going to go right elbow i'm just following the dynamic branch that triggers that's why you always want to leave it on dynamic and this this branch here is a great branch for mid-range shooting so you can see marbury the point guard sets a rub screen i irc garnet to the mid-range area take a wide open shot i missed this but that's a great branch especially coming from the middle triggering that with the irc so here i bring it as drexler I'm still in Hawks Freelance, obviously. I go to the wing. They're running this kind of off-screen action, but I already drove in as Drexler. So I broke the branch. And if you break the branch in this Freelance, the center is just going to roll, roam back around to the free throw circle or the top of the key. As you can see in this instance, he roll, he's roaming around from elbow to elbow so that I just take the pass and I dunk it. So this is also a very important element. So if you run any of these dynamic branches and you decide to break them, the center is either going to go hang out around the elbows or the free throw circle so you can see i'm driving in with ray here the center is hanging around the elbow or around the paint and then everybody else is just going to spread out so i know scott skiles my point guard is going to come back out for the free so i give it to him you can see the center is back at the elbow i shoot this wide open shot i missed it but that's a good look and a good use of the spacing breaking like if you can understand all the elements of your chosen freelance you and you can just flow through it so i'm bringing up to the middle so i know i'm going to get 401 in spacing i got the 401 in spacing here so i'm going to trigger this dynamic branch which i know is most likely going to be some sort of off-screen action with the center i give it to carter so now I'm on the wing. I run a wing pick and roll. There's nothing. But I know I started from the wing. So now this is going to go back to five out spacing. And you can see it does just that. KG goes to the top of the key. Goes back to this five out spacing. I triggered his hand off of Carter. KG is going to stay around the elbow because I broke the branch. Perfect understanding of the freelance and flowing through it perfectly. Hawks freelance is great for this. Like if you understand your freelance, you gotta understand it if you want to perform well in 2k20 so you can see i'm in the middle so i know it's going for a one in where kg is going to go to the elbow i tell him to come over the screen i run a give and go here totally understand no one's going to go into the paint no matter what so that's a good give and go chance give and go didn't really work out so i give it back to kg and now i know this is going to be five out spacing because he's already up top i run the dribble pitch still nothing and i can see the wing is coming up now i'm in the middle so i know kg is going to try to get into the paint see he's come back out i run a wing pick and roll with drexler so now i know this is going to go back to five out spacing with kg he's popping out to the top i can see that happening i decided to irc kg all off the row short row it and i hit the jumper so that's a irc control in the pick and rolls i told you guys earlier so with horse freelance a lot of time just the dynamic branches are enough so you can see i'm running the dynamic branch here from the wing so i know it's going to be some sort of five out spacing dynamic branch if i stay cool i decided to move myself back to the middle though so that now i know it's going to go to where kg goes to the elbow but a branch has triggered from the middle so I'm, I see the diagram because my play vision is on full display and show all plays. So I see the off screen on the corner. KG's already in paint. I'm just going to hit the shot because I came off that screen wide open. I'm going to shoot it. But like when you understand the flow of your freelance of choice perfectly, like a lot of the time, magic can happen. So you can see like in here, magic's happening. So there's a rub screen. Christian Leitner gets nothing. I decided to let the offense happen, try to flush in Carter from the wing. The flush didn't work, so I'm going to get the ball back to Carter from the wing. So now I know this is going to go to 5 out, right? This is going to be some sort of 5 out wing branch that gets triggered. But I call Leitner up for a pick and roll, so KG is going to come back up. Leitner is going to roll in there because I told him to, so now KG is going to stay up top. Now we got that high low going. I tap R1, hold triangle. I know this freelance is very good for high low, so I run the high low right there off that switch, right? Because now Larry Hughes is on Leitner, which is a mismatch, so then I ran the high low. Whew, so right there, Hawks Freelance Offense, guys, is likely, is it the best in the game? No, Clippers still is, but Clippers is heavily dependent on your ability to ISO. You can check out the Clippers Freelance if you want in my previous Freelance tutorial. Uh, it's in the playlist. But to me, the Hawks Freelance is just, it's very special because of the fact that it can go 4-1 in, 
it can go five out which means you can probably use a very versatile center. Someone like a Tim Duncan and Shaq has a place in this. Because even if you run a Shaq up top, where you'd be like, oh, why would I want to you know, swing the ball to the wing and have Shaq in the five up? But you saw what I did there. If Shaq is up top, the defense stacks off, you can just give it to Shaq and run a hand off of someone. And then you can turn that hand off into a pick and roll. And with nobody in the way, Shaq is just going to kill someone. And at the same time, you can always, you know, bring the ball up to the middle. And Shaq or Tim Duncan, they're always in the paint or your center or like a jokish. They're always at the elbow, which is the most deadly spot for a non-shooting big man anyways, right? And the fact that the paint is always open for your bigs, where you're always open to high-low, this is the perfect freelance if you want to paint mash. But at the same time, if you want to spread, you can still spread into 4 one in facing pick and roll. Or you can go 5 out ISO if you want, or like a 5 out top of the key dribble handoff action that I told you guys earlier, the speed boost handoff, right? This freelance allows you to do all of that. It is the only freelance in the game where you can go four out one in or five out depending on where you move the ball to and where you start your offense. That element alone, that element alone is worth it. I suggest you, you know, spend time on it, see how it plays out, and get used to it because this freelance, you gotta have it in your offense because you can go clippers all day or like the five out, but sometimes you just gotta get into this when you wanna slow the offense down, paint your mash a little, do some high low, you know, keep the lead or just grind it out. This is perfect for that. And it also allows you to have a mid range shooting athletic big man, which means you can have a huge guy now, right? You don't need those like shooting bigs. You can go for like, like you don't need Torrance in East Town. Now you can go Duncan. And that's going to make your defense a lot better by default. All right. So as always, thanks for coming by. If you got any questions, leave it in the comment section. If you want to see me more freelance offense tutorials, let me know. I know I've been focusing on a lot of the builds lately. Also a lot of, you know, just my player on park gameplay or free free gameplay because I've been doing the tourney. But if you want to see more freelance offense, money plays, just let me know. And as always, shout out to BuckGG for the sponsorship. And I'll speak to you guys again very soon.